The last two videos were final preparations to unleash the Zarai crossbow at various bosses and after getting the fishing barrel for Corp, the Vow Boots and Ring of the Gods for Hydra, we are ready to unleash the deadliest crossbow, the Route Runescape. The Zarai crossbow or CZB is one of the least understood weapons in Runescape, not just because it's new but because it's a crossbow and the special attack is a bit tricky to easily figure out where it can be good for the average player. Nowadays, range is mostly dominated by the blowpipe, the F-bow, and the T-bow, so it's not easy to figure out a place for crossbows in PVM now. But today, on this episode of Iron Bar, I will be quelling many beasts with the ZZB's help and really get into the nitty gritty uses of it and determine how helpful it actually is for my goals on this account and to quench you guys' thirst for knowledge. This video was a long preparation in the making with getting the crossbow from scratch, because Iron Man by the way, to rigorously testing it for weeks. So if you like this kind of progress video and want to see more of Iron Bar's exploits, perhaps the hopefully soon full Torva testing when I get the legs, or Race 3, then like the video and subscribe to the channel for free so you don't miss out. Let's get on with the video. I've revisited a bunch of incomplete side goals from older bosses with the ZZB. You can see all of my goals in the description of every video. There is a link to a progress spreadsheet. And the results have been amazing overall. These side grinds have never felt more fun and my ability to kill the bosses have definitely improved significantly. So let's talk about these bosses section by section. So I'll cover next to start off because it is definitely the most useful there by far out of all the other bosses I'll be covering in this video. The Zarya Crossbow is the main weapon of choice on next due to the boss having an insane HP pool and the ZZB's passive 110 ruby special damage. And you also have the special attack which gives you even more 110 ruby damages. Out DPSing even the T-Bow. Especially when you're brewed down, since it's just a flat 10-11% to chance that it would occur, the special, regardless of your stats. I'll keep this topic a little brief with next, since I go over a lot throughout the next grind in other videos. So I'll mention the main things here though. At next, you can full range setup with ZZB and do really well as is. With the T-Bow as your support weapon for minions, and also T-Bow when next is around under 300 HP. Now, Rape here with near max melee is still the best DPS, but there are plenty of times where you cannot melee next. Some examples of when you cannot melee next is during the shout phase, when you're running away from the boss because of sacrifice, or when you're running towards the boss when it's jumping around, and when it prays melee, or also when you're brewed down. Melee is not that good when you're brewed down. The ZZB will be the main weapon of choice otherwise, which is most of it. Also, the melee hybrid setup is a lot harder to do so if you're bad at switching and miss a lot of hits, range only setup will be better for sure. Although practice makes better. I'd say CCB is overall the main weapon of choice again for next if you could only have one weapon there. So for me personally, the CCB has really made next grind for full tour much nicer as it relieves me of having to T-bow spam my dragon arrows away. I've used over 10,000 there and I'm pretty much out. And it also speeds up the kills too since it does increase my raw DPS. Oh my god, it's so fun when the crossbow just goes ring so many times, man. Gosh, that was good. We just did a two kill trio trip without any food drops. And keep in mind, I only bring basically four brewers in with me and the rest is just hard food. So yeah, the DPS was so good. I mean, definitely... The crossbow contributed to that increased DPS for sure, but yeah, that was really good. Uh, probably not too realistic to do that often, but it's possible. Oh, back to back. Holy shit. Oh my god, three rubies. It's over. It's literally over for this guy. Do you guys often get to eat freshly cooked meals? Many of us don't because it's not easy to know how. But let me tell you how. You can get freshly cooked meals that are healthy, affordable, and fun through our sponsor called HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit subscription service that delivers to your doorstep. That means no grocery shopping and minimal meal planning. 
The kits come with an easy to follow instructions alongside all the ingredients to make the meals of your dreams. They also have minimum prepping options too if you're short on time. HelloFresh has 50 weekly options of delicious food to choose from. HelloFresh also caters to people with focus on certain diets like veggie, pescatarian, or staying fit. Personally, I am a fan of HelloFresh because their meals taste just as good as our other home-cooked meals. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code you see on the screen, P-O-G-R-I-C-E June 16th, for up to 16 free meals plus 3 surprise gifts across 6 HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. I've already hinted at Corp and Hydra, so I'll cover those next. So Corporo Beast is one of the jankiest bosses ever, and for me, I never did get all the sigils. I always had Spectral left, but it's just not that fun of a boss. So I've only killed like 1.6k in the last 4 years. So that's like 400 a year, which isn't that much. But the ZZB, along with some adjustments to my old strategy, has really made the boss a lot more fun. And now, my motivation is at an all-time high. So how does the ZZB work at Corp? Well, Corp has a lot of HP, so you'll notice a trend as you watch more of this video. So Zarya Crossbow Special Attack is deadly accurate because it doubles the accuracy of the base. And if it were to land, it would trigger the Enchanted Bolt Special Effect. So you can trigger Ruby Bolts on demand, essentially. And almost guarantee Ruby Bolt spec is nasty because it can hit 110 on the high HP mobs, like Corp. So most methods of Soul Corp involve lowering the defense to zero. So the crossbow special will pretty much always land. Once you're done specking the corp, you can start off the actual fight with a ZZB spec for a guaranteed 110 damage, saving a few hits already there, which is a few seconds. And then you can spec it again towards the middle part of the fight for another 60 to 90 damage, which saves another few hits, another few seconds. So you're guaranteeing a few seconds saved every kill. This is massive for me because anything to speed up corp makes this boss exponentially more fun because this is one of the driest grinds in RuneScape by far. Every second save counts. <sighs> Yo, I am stocking up on all the Karen Bonds, right? Featuring the fishing barrel, right? <laughs> what? How did I just get like Elite Clue and Hard Clue like basically uh, almost back to back? Well, that's really good because um, I can put them on to Watson so I can get another set of these. Yay. All right, I got to use Ruby Bolts because uh, I am not bringing... Uh, an assembler cape with me and the ruby bolt special effect is what i'm using the cross before so it's gonna hit 110 either way so this is more throwaway i don't want to waste my giant ruby bolts on on something that can achieve the same with easier to uh produce bolts i downloaded the bank tag layouts because what that does is it lets you reorganize your tabs but Sorting it out this way doesn't affect what happens in the actual bank. So look at this. I put it in a way where I can sort out my items really easy. Take out the items in the right order. Without having to really think about where things go. So it's really nice. Like, yeah. So for the first phase of Corp, I spec down the boss, right? So now I can just do this. Grab uh, everything I need. I'll take that. Yeah, the Zara Cross was definitely doing really well. The specs are super reliable, definitely way better than my Sea Howley and my and whatever else people use like claws. What six seconds? Holy shit, I killed the boss so fast, I I couldn't even get my imbue heart cooldown. Holy shit. <laughs> From start to finish, that was seven minutes. That was under seven minutes. Wow. Ah, perfect. The one time I like to get trampled is when I need to drop my food real quick. Sweet. Now that's a good start right there. Perfect transition. Didn't get stomped. Already killed the core. Beautiful. And didn't take a bajillion damage. Uh, I think that's my max, right? 44 <clears throat> because of the Torva for him. It's so funny, protect item because they're all the same value. Uh, it just randomly protects an item. It's not like guaranteed that I'll protect the same item every time. <laughs> sometimes I keep my con cape, sometimes I keep like the crafting cape. Uh, okay, I need to configure left click real quick. 
I want this to be not up. There you go. So I can do this. This will definitely be faster than going to my house. So. Yeah, look at how fast this shit is, you know? It's like, boom. Yeah, it's definitely a lot faster than the house. Wait, can I shift eat this? Oh, I'm a... I could shift that. God damn, menu entry swap or so OP. I'm just not used to using it though. But yeah, definitely gonna use shift to eat. And use my heart in the bank. Save some time. For sure, for sure. This layout's perfect now. Just so everything's sorted out perfectly. And uh, all the teleports on the left. All my switches are on the right. So it's beautiful. So recently they uncapped the Crystal Halberd's max hit at core. Which is a good addition. Because I still end up using the Halley a little bit. Um, sometimes the kills get slow. So I still get 30% back. Which is perfect for spec. But the cap used to be 50 damage per hit splat. But now... It can hit up whatever the max was. So for me, it's probably like a 57 or something in my setup. Or uh, 60 even. And if you have the other method, it's probably going to be a bit higher. But it's still not as good as the Zarya Crossbow though. That's for sure. Nowhere near as reliable. I'm just going to try something. Come on. Holy shit. 54, 53. That was so cool. Damn, I left it with 7 HP. Would have been awesome if I killed it then. Holy shit. Damn, the boss hasn't even spawned yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, snap. 180 mil strength XP. Holy shit, that was so fast. Look at that. Look at that. Start to finish, sub 7 minutes. That's crazy. Imagine I can do a start to finish, sub 7 minutes every single time. Wait, how much would that be? It'd be like close to, yeah, probably, you know, theoretically, if you get really good RNG and you play really well, you can do like 9 kills an hour, but I'm averaging like, yeah, around 8. Closer to 8 than I am to 7, so, yeah, that's nice. 180 mil, 2500 uh, KC, get court, wow, that's clean. Oh, hey, I killed it. That's another way to kill it. That works. Nice. Alright, let's kill the day. What do we got? Oh my god, just so many, uh, holy shit, that was, oh my god, look at that. Start to finish, 6 minutes, 8 seconds. That's disgusting. If you think about it, that's 10 kills an hour theoretically. Make sure to put on the shield right as the splat passive damage is gonna go through like so. And the Kodai. Actually helps so much on taking a lot less damage, just have like... Peak magic defense when those splashes happen. Is their extra damage creeps up on you so fast? Dang, I just had a super sick uh, streak hour here where I almost did nine kills an hour. Every kill was going really good, like seven minutes or lower until this kill where I messed up a lot and it ruined the average. But that was a good PB though, still over eight kills an hour. Jesus Christ, Yern. That spam, bro. What the hell? Holy shit. Finally, the Halley one-shotted the boss. Now, that's a clip. That's uh, a one in like a hundred, you know, freaking hits where I did that. What's the goal of Corp? Get the good old the Spectral. Any dupes is good, too, because they don't, you know, they're log slots that I don't have, apparently. Alright, I managed to do all my hammer specs, arc specs, got it to zero defense in one game necklace or less. Oh, damn, okay, finally the Halley's doing work. Death room, 623, 2600 kills though. So Hydra is next. As far as goals are concerned, I'm only missing the pet, but if I do get the pet, then I get a completed green log for the collection log, which is pretty hard to do for most bosses. So Zarya Crossbow definitely motivates me to work on that goal a bit more and shift my Slayer related goals to Konar. So I have a bunch of side goals, which again, you can find the description link to the spreadsheet, like getting rare dragon armor, like Dragon Full Helm uh, for Mythal Dragons or pets from certain bosses. I usually do that through Slayer using Durdo, but because Hydra is exclusive to Konar, 
I will now be maining corn oil for a while. So high drawer I'll talk about briefly because the idea behind it with the ZZB is pretty much the same as Corp. Hydra has a lot of HP and you're already typically ranging the boss and the boss has naturally low range defense. So the Zara Crossbow Special will hit almost 100% of the time. The best time to Zara Crossbow Spec is the blue phase of Hydra because it will greatly increase your odds of skipping the electricity phase. I find that phase to be the most annoying phase of all because a lot of times you're going to try to dodge electricity which could waste some attack time or you just get hit by it and then you take damage so if you skip that you don't have to deal with any of that but if you're 100 special and you're not at blue phase i would just shoot it anyways if it's green phase that's okay it'll still save time it's best paired with a death recharge spell every kill to get 15 percent more special so you can almost spec every kill However, ZZB does drain your HP quite a bit, so if you aren't paying attention, you could be leaving early. Easy remedy would be to just play better, as in just make sure your prayer switches are accurate the whole fight. Or activate Rapid Heal if you get a lot of prayer pots, so you can get some free passive HP. Or a side special weapon to heal when HP is looking bad, like a Blowpipe or a Zar's God Sword. I heard that was really good, but I haven't tried it yet, but I believe the guy um, is speaking truth. It's pretty decent here, but it does have the HP drawback, so it does require proper adjusting to gain benefits with the Zarya Crossbow here. Personally, it's made Hydra at least two times more fun with Thralls and Death Recharge, and that's saying a lot because Hydra is probably as boring as Corp at times. Oh, I get to actually use this. Oh, that's fun. I didn't really think I would do any barrage tasks much nowadays, but... But the collection log is starting to become a real focus soon enough, so might as well get a head start. Lots of good Slayer uniques from General Slayer. And yeah, what better way to do that than Barrage Taz? And also, I'm low on points, so... But yeah, it's gonna be nice. A lot of uh, prayer back from that. When's Reset? Reset is in two hours. Perfect. This Faldor shield hasn't been used yet. Alright, so uh, I got a Slayer Taz. It's telling me to go to Smoke Dungeon, and uh, within the last year... They added a new spot to the Smoke Devil area in the Smoke Dungeon because when you get assigned to kill Smoke Devils here, it's so much worse than Catacombs, so... And this is multi, as you can see here, so that means you can barrage them. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna barrage them and get this task done quick. They're looking at you. Oh my god, that's so cool. This area has a bunch of Dust Devils <laughs> on the lava. I guess that maybe adds lore to, to their existence, I guess. Maybe they're just bathing or something, I don't know. That must be a hint at some sort of lore, man. What do you guys think in the in the chat? I just noticed they're literally like smoke devils. There we go. I got a mud miss battle staff. Oh, collection line, that's cool. Hey, that was insane. I did the whole task with basically a follow shield uh, charge. Definitely uh, feeling that prayer boost, man. What? I have 20 prayer bonus. Wow, that's insane. And I'm wearing, like, you know, max mage, basically. Uh-huh. Alright, well, I'll take it, man. Cool. I'll take that collection log. Oh, shit. Yo. Yo, milestone. 50 mil. 50 mil magic. Let's go. I keep getting this task, by the way. I don't mind it, though. Yeah, it's just the logistics. Yeah, it's... Oh, I got it. Yes. Hydras. Let's go. <laughs> Still kind of- oh, six sharks though, we're chilling. Nice, 2000 KC, two thirds of the way to the pet ray. I can definitely handle a thousand more Hydra kills with this new setup though, for sure. Oh shit. Oof, 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 nice. It switched attacks, but sometimes you can't even see it. So when you can't see it, you're, you're just guessing whether or not the transition actually happened. So the Ellie is nice because, or any shield rather is nice. Just in case if it's the raw style, I can like have a shot at reducing the chance of hitting me more. Getting around 36k an hour, so... Oh my god, I still somehow fixed that. That was crazy. I made a big mistake. And I fixed it. That's that's dope. Oh damn! Look at this. 
Oh, back to back rubies. Hell yeah, let's go. The first one was accidental. I, I did not mean to auto it, but hey, worked out. Oh, what? Damn, what the f- What? That's crazy. I thought the Ellie would have way more range defense than a buckler. But actually, the buckler is one defense higher. Wow. Yeah, it is. And also, you get the magic, too. A bit more magic than even Ellie. Although, you don't get the damage reduction, but... <laughs> actually, yeah, I guess I'll just bring that for Hydra instead. Uh, just for that extra accuracy, you know? Just to uh, increase the chance of the bolt landing. I mean, it already lands, like... Over 90% of the time, but it does miss sometimes, so. Alright, so I did an Hour of Hydra. I got about 20 kills uh, with this method. And uh, remember, I am not using Dragon Arrows. So it's probably a little more. And I'm pretty confident that I could get 30 kills an hour uh, with Amethyst Arrows. If I actually don't bank within the hour. Having to flick kind of hard just to stay here a bit more. That's just... Because I have not got a single restore drop in 28 kills so far. But yeah, 28 kills though. I mean, even without the desired food drops, uh, potion drops. It is still very nice. So, definitely looking good here. So, let's talk about bosses I really hinted at. And there's two more to cover. Yeah, you thought... There was, like, nothing else? No, 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 no. Sorry, Crossbow can be quite the first style weapon, like I said. The next one is Cerberus. I just need to refill two stone items from Cerv for a green collection lock, so not a bad idea. To do this task here and there. Look at me killing Water Fiends, man. Is this, like, summoning days? Where, uh, yeah, I used to kill these for the Crimson Charms. <laughs> but we used to use a Serra Sword. Because we didn't have the Zamrakian Hasta back in the day, so. Okay, at least the freaking Inquisitor Mace absolutely dunks on these Water Fiends. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, I can. Oh my god, you can actually can in here. Okay, definitely the place to be if you're trying to kill some Water Fiends. Because you're stuck, like me, without points. And you also refuse to skip your tasks. 70,000 Campbells. To do as I please. Mostly just for Slayer related stuff though, I think. And we'll get some more from next because I can't finish it. I can two shot these with ice barrages. Whoa, that was so clean. That was actually so cool. Oh, Hellhound, sweet. Okay, all right. So I wasn't really thinking about testing uh, the Zarya crossbow at Cerberus, but a uh, few few of my viewers brought, brought up that it's actually really good. So we're going to, you know, take a little detour on the way to the armor task and uh, kill some servers. I could also fill up some logs there in the meantime. So, yeah, let's do a, you know, a thorough testing with the Zarya crossbow there. And the idea is pretty simple. So we'll talk more about it when we're there. Can't say uh, it's going to go too well, but we'll see. Okay. All right. All right. I'm pretty inexperienced with uh, range only serve in the main game, so... I'm just going to start off with this. So we're going to start each fight if possible. You know, if I have 75% spec. To spec the boss with the Zarya crossbow. It should hit for like 110 as usual. And that will, yeah, bring it down to 490. And the rest I can just T-bow. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how long I can stay. But to Divine Wrench, probably bring a few more prayer pots too. There's going to be a, a little trick that I learned from my boy Cold One to uh, offset a bit of prayer when the ghosts come out. Just because I don't have a spectral, so I need to use other tricks with Demonic Offering, so we'll show you that. And of course, that's Recharge and Thralls to speed up the kill. Honestly, I didn't think of this till some viewers of mine mentioned it, so shout out to the viewers. So the same idea as Hydra, really, and about the same drawbacks with the HP consumption. You definitely speed up Serb by CCB specking at the start, which will take down about a 6 of his life points, just like that at the start. And you can do it every other kill, with Death Recharge as well. So I only recommend CCB specking if you're going to go with a ranged setup, because the boss isn't naturally weak to range, so you do need some range gear to make sure the crossbow lands. 
from my testing, it's definitely not the easiest thing to maintain food here. So do be careful as you might notice you run out of food a lot quicker with ZZB and Defy Ranching, like harder to maintain than even a Hydra. I'd say this option is definitely more fun for most players rather than real efficiency. To be frank, I prefer the melee method a lot more because you can tank better and get faster kills and stay longer. Easier. But if you like range only, this crossbow is definitely a good addition. Also, my throw is a bit scuffed. I, I am a bit sick. Might have the Rona, so... Uh, yeah, if the audio quality sucks, nothing I can do at the moment. I'm trying to, you know, make this video for you guys. Whoa, insole Hellhound heads. Oh my god. That's right, they added uh, freaking insole heads to Hellhounds. I don't think I can ever get used to that. So there's two spells that give you prayer back. One's called Demonic Offering from the Zaya Spell Book, and this spell is super good at Cerberus if you are a bit sweaty because you can save so much prayer, especially if you don't have a Spectral Shield like me. So when you use Demonic Offering on the Ash that you get from Cerberus every kill, you gain a little bit of prayer points back. And you can use that prayer point to cancel one of the ghost's attacks. So what happens is that there's three ghosts and each of them drains up to 30, right? But a lot of times if you want to go for the third ghost block, you have to drink an entire prayer potion dose just to cancel it. But no, you're not going to do that because instead you're just going to, on the third ghost, when it's about to hit you, you cast the demonic offering spell. And then you gain like two prayer points back and then use that to cancel the third ghost. So it's very tick perfect. But uh, yeah, once you get a bit of practice, it's very consistent. It saves you an entire prayer dose per kill. Oh, I got it. Yes. That's, that's going to save a lot of prayer. Holy shit. That's pretty, that's pretty lit. I ain't going to lie. No, I messed up. I got it though. Just die, scrub. Ooh, that kill was pretty good. 38 seconds. 38 seconds, boy? Oh, no. Ah, I messed up. <gasps> <laughs> Peg Crystal, so troll. So troll, Peg Crystal, man. I need that Eternal for the log, man. Come on. Definitely worth doing these three combos here. Defense reduction, throw, and... That's charged like somewhere in the middle of the kill, not at the very start, just because sometimes the kills go over like a minute or so. 600 KC at Cerberus. Cool. All right, I did a little bit just under an hour. Uh, if I go another trip, will go way over. But uh, yeah, with this method, um, now that I'm getting the hang of it using all these crazy stuff, probably a bit overkill, but yeah, you know, I'm trying to maximize the crossbow and stuff. But yeah, it's about 46 kills an hour with this exact method I'm doing. Obviously, it's going to defer a lot if you have like a Spectral. I'm sure you can probably get over 50 plus with a Spectral just because, yeah, you just won't need to use that much prayer. You can bring a lot more food. Yeah, you know I mean, there's definitely a lot of uh, different things you can do to change the number quite a bit. But 46 kills an hour though, um, T-Bow mainly using Zarya Crossbow as the main swipe up is uh yeah really good really good really good so this includes uh banking like three times or so you know getting back it's not too bad yeah i think i'm gonna ditch thralls for this setup just because i can save like two inventory slots or something or, or one and i also get way more prayer because once you get good with the strat like it's really the prayer ultimately that's the downfall And not really anything else, so. And Thralls just burns through too much burn. For the very little that it does. Especially if you're T-Bone, you just kill it so fast. Honestly, with Spectral, I would use Thralls. Just because you save so much prayer with that. So that is Cerberus task done. It's definitely really good here. Uh, range method definitely brings ZZB, but I'll probably mostly just stick to melee if I do this task. Uh, for the completion uh, collection stuff. And yeah, it's time to move on to our final boss with the Zarya Crossbow. Let's get a task. Oof. Oh my god, that's crazy. That task gave me 700 points for 50 tasks. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna get this Armadale task. Dude, this is so hard right now. Yes, I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, finally. Finally got that Avian Seas task. Oh my days. 
How much Slayer did I do today? Uh, okay. I mean, I just did whatever task I could that was like 10 minutes or less. And I still got some Slayer points left from that 50 streak, so. Alright. I'll go back to normal Slayer once it's done. Uh, at least, you know, because the this is the last boss for the crossbow test. We're gonna use it as the main weapon, so. Uh, let's go and see what this thing can do. An armadillo. So for the Zyre crossbow setup, obviously I have no experience, so I'm going to use the method that I'm familiar with, which is my own form of armadillo using a T-bow. Uh, just involves freezing the mega guy and then uh, running away from the mega guy and hitting the boss. And sometimes stepping under the boss to slow down his attacks if I can. And yeah, this is basically what I would bring. The only difference is instead of T-bow, it's the crossbow this time. Finally, we can talk about Armadillo, the last boss, guys. I need this pet, and it's the last Godward's pet I need, and also a green log. So this coverage is mainly relevant to Iron Man. Uh, my account, of course. For Iron Man, it's understood that chinning isn't worth it in the long run, because you end up saving a lot more time just ranging the boss with a dragon crossbow or better, or a F-bow or a T-bow. Plenty of options, that isn't chins. Maybe if you were going for the chin pad or, or 99 for max cape, but yeah, other than that, probably not worth it. Catching chins just takes so much time overall. Chins are still meta for mains though, but I typically just T-bow armor because the kills are pretty good and it's easy on ammunition using only amethyst arrows. With a solid strategy, I typically get 30 kills minimum a trip using T-bow and armadillo. Now, Zarya Crossbow is definitely a contender for armor as well because you get to camp a shield the whole time, which increases your accuracy and defense. Then you take less damage, and you also have a very special accurate attack that can proc diamond bolts that can hit like 60s if it's dragon. T-Bow in theory has higher DPS, but lacking a constant shield boost means you can spend more time eating, costing you DPS as well. So in practice, it can compete decently with the T-Bow. I was getting similar kills per trip using CZB, so it shows. Downside is that it costs Dragon Bolts, so it's not easily sustainable compared to, say, Amethyst Arrows, but really good if you don't have a T-Bow. So that's my finding for the CZB. Overall, a really nice weapon for Nex, and a really good support weapon for many high HP bosses. It has improved my Nex grant a ton and motivated me to work on old goals, so definitely a nice seal of approval. Ooh, damn, this first kill is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't super fast, I mean, it was like a minute, but... I totally didn't take much damage there, so that was really nice. Yo, Armadillo doesn't even exist right now, dude. This is the fifth kill in a row, and I've killed it all in like a minute or less. Oh my god. Finish it off, please? There we go, KO. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna use the spec. Kuriara, you better die. Thank you. If you're not dead from that, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, okay, that was the fourth slow kill in uh, how many kills? Fourth slow kill in 23 kills. So, 19 kills so far has been a minute 30 or under. So, that's really good. Uh, no hard food though. I do have one minute. Oh, Dragonstone. I got one Mansa Ray left though. 14 prayer points, baby. Can we do this? Well, I mean, we are already at 35 kills though, so. So this is already uh, at the territory of my T-Bow, you know, using basically the same supplies. We're gonna call it here, actually. Not worth forcing it, but 36 kills though, you know. Honestly, that's pretty good for our first try back, honestly. Um, let's see, out of 36 kills, there were probably at least 7 kills that were, uh, you know, a bit slow. Like 2 minutes or higher, but the rest of the kills were around 1 minute-ish. So yeah, it's very comparable to a T-Bow, and much more relaxing. Oh my god, Armadillo chain skirt. okay, whatever. Yeah, too many of these. Slow kill. Alright, finish the armor task. And yeah, so it only took only took two trips. 
but I was averaging 20 kills an hour. I think that's very similar to Tebow, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'd say worth using here if you can't afford a Tebow or if you're an Iron Man and you don't have a Tebow. Um, with Dragon Bolts, it definitely can keep up with the Tebow here, practically speaking. Not on the DPS charts, but practically, it definitely can because of all the extra tankiness that you have. For sure. I mean, I just proved it. First time ever back, I did like 36 kills, so...